Assalamu alaikum. Nini Bahir Muhammad ni ango kunawa. Nini na zamana mi rabban maganin CDD na na yankin kunawa majima. Alhamdulillah wannan magani da aka ba mu muke rabawa mi misali shekaru a kalla ba kasar ba za mu samu shekaru kamar shekara 15 muna wannan rabban magani alhamdulillah mun sami ci gaba a wannan rabban magani a matsayin mu na masu rabban maganin nan da da muka fara rabban maganin nan ba mu samu karbuwa ba amma yanzu har mun dawo mun samu karbuwa har gida jama'ar mu suke biyo mu domin su karbi wannan magani sun ga ingancin wannan magani tare da jin dadin wannan magani suka suke neman wannan magani a wannan gari namu a yanzu ma mono mu sun ji dadi wallahi saboda shan wannan magani har sun ji karfin jikin su na suna noma sosai alhamdulillah mun gode Allah ya saka da alheri Allah ya saka da alheri kuma shi wannan magani da muke rabawa yana yin maganin tundirmi a yanzu ci gaba na wannan rabban magani har jama'a ta sun zo suna tambaya ta yaushe za a fara wannan rabban magani na tundirmin kafa da kuma dindimi alhamdulillah akan wannan rabban magani ne har Allah ya bani dama gwamnati ta ga kokari na ta nada ni akan wannan mai ungwanci alhamdulillah na gode kuma jama'a ta sun yi godiya akan wannan rabban magani da ake yi da muke yi kuma har sun ji dadi wannan magani jikin su yayi karfi suna noma alhamdulillah Allah ya saka da alheri as what as preventive measures and then this one go a long way in also preventing mosquitoes from biting individuals and by extension uh, entering into uh, NTD activity also as a form of collaboration as a form of integration as a form of rolling out so that we will have a long term impact in trying to see that uh, we curtail these uh, diseases that is bedeviling our uh, state. That is in that action. And also, if you consider the issue of uh, coverage, uh, as we have mentioned, we uh, roll out activities of distribution of LLINs, that is NETS. These NETS, I could remember in 20 uh, in 2009 slash 2010, uh, about 4.6 million nets were distributed uh, throughout the 44 LGS in Kano State. So also in 2015, about 6.4 million nets were distributed. And now in a few months time, uh, specifically in August through October, we are now to distribute about 8.4 million nets in the state. This one is a kind of a corroborative uh, collaboration for integrative, you know, kind of uh, rollout of activities with uh, NTD in trying to see that um, uh, the general populace are being prevented from uh, coming down with either malaria and uh, the scourge of uh, the diseases that fall under the group of NTDs. So these are some of the activities and this one we have been doing year in, year out. And um, uh, it suffice to mention if we consider our key performance indicators as it were if you consider way back from let's say at least 2010 to this material time there is a remarkable improvement in trying to see that uh, we are now uh, trying to cope these diseases a um, few weeks ago uh, we have just won so many prizes at national level under NTD and malaria alike uh, this testifies to the justification that there is good collaboration, coordination, and seamless rollout of activities between NTD and Malaria Pro.
ina daya daga cikin wadanda suke ina daya daga cikin wadanda suke raba wannan maganin wato mafiza da albarkaza eh gaskiya ina raba wannan magani kuma mutane sun ji dadi raba wannan magani da nake sakamakon cewa na samu daukaka da girman mawa ba ni kadai ba ma har ma wasu daga cikin yan gida da iyayena saboda ko akan hanya aka hadi da ni mutane suna girman ma ne saboda ina ba su wannan magani saboda maganin ne yana taimaka musu a cikin su shi wannan magani yana maganin kamar cindirmi na hannu da dindimi na kafa da wannan hakiya da nake fitowa da mutane a cikin gida sannan yana idan mutane ko da a ce mutum ba shi da wannan ciwon idan mutane suka sha suna jin karfin cikin su suna samun damar yin ayyukan da za su yadda ga su yake so yadda yake sannan bawa abin da zan iya cewa wannan hukuma da ta kawo mana wannan magani cikin wannan unguwa ta mufa ta in ce Allah ya biya su don ni banda abin da zan biya su kuma mutanen ma da suka ba ba su da abin da za su biya su sai dai Allah ya biya su don mu gaskiya ba mu da abin da zan biya su gaskiya maganin ne yana da matukar muhimmanci a wajen mutane domin yana ce maka musu ni kaina inna sha yana ce maka min a jikina ba ma mutane dan tunda na sha cuci tuka kananan nan da yawa sai ga na ga ga na ga gaskiya baba abin da zan ce ba ce in ce na gode Allah kuma ya kara ba su wasu maganin wanda za su kawo mana domin ya ce maka mana gaskiya wannan magani ya ce maka mana My name is Ambassador Manuel Gabari. I am, I work with African Focus for Youth Development. It's one of the CSOs also engaged in um, the NTDs um, programs and um, we've been here to also join other CSOs um, lending our voices. Also I'm um, going around to sensitize um, people. We also have been um, you know collaborating with the consultant uh, particularly in media outreach. Uh, where we also do television um, interviews just to also sensitize the public because something that's a giveaway for us is that um, while this program was on it created a whole lot of um, awareness you know gone were the days where people felt that when you have a swollen leg it was poison from something and all that and then the program helped in at least mobilizing and sensitizing people about how they could go for um early checkups and then follow it up and all that and it's been a wonderful program because um we also go to the grassroots to talk to people alongside other CSOs who particularly what i like about the whole thing was the synergy that we had with all stakeholders even from the NTD's front from CSOs from media from people rural areas and um just reaching out to everyone to let them know that um, they could even access drugs sometimes people don't even know where to go but this program really helped and went a long way um to impact in the lives of people yeah like you said yes we weren't um engaged in the first um phase of it but then when we came on board it 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 was a good one for us because we also had to leverage on the fact that we had strong media platform for radio for tv for social media and all that and then um afit particularly african focus for youth development was also in the forefront of enlightening people so wherever across the world that we visited we were also telling people about some of the things that um and the ministry the whole people that were involved in the entity thing were also doing so people across the world were also getting to know what was happening in kano and how the really good impact of it was how everyone was carried along I I think before they maybe they didn't know the impact that CSOs could do but immediately CSOs came on board and Afi particularly also was on board there was this synergy amongst us where when there were even strategic plannings um Afi was also involved with other CSOs and it really went a long way in helping to also contribute our quota into um the work plans of all that NTD was to carry out yes because uh, if people were not aware of even what is going on like i said earlier on um when people come up with swollen legs all they feel is that um one witch or something happened you know so you know the and then, then the consultant was also coming on media to also sensitize people because now they could see that oh if i have a swollen leg it could be elephantiasis they need to go to the hospital for testing they need to also follow up on their medications and all that this wasn't there before and people were just um, doing things on speculation and then african voodooism 
the NTD program has really gone a long way to bring a whole lot of health challenges to the front because at least when people know about what is wrong with them, that way it's like a problem half solved and they know how to go about it all. And then the drugs were also being given, you know, because the CSOs were also going around to check how it was um, being done and we saw that yes it, it had a good impact so unlike where uh, sometimes people don't even care about the drugs we found that people when they realize the awareness is there they also are able to uh, take their drugs and then the whole team also followed up and made sure that it went to the right sources because every hand was on deck so it's not even now just CSOs or this or that everyone was always coming together there were meetings where everyone could share their thoughts way forward and what um, everyone felt we could all do in issues like this especially for health every hand has to be on deck you know and that was what I liked about it all the synergy that was there the meetings we had in Kano and outside Kano, everyone was able to share their challenges, their success stories and all that and it really went to love.